I can't believe I'm out. I can't believe I'm here you mean, with you in Italy, huh? <laughs> yeah, me either. Just wish the circumstances were less tense, you know? Eh, uh, well... Now the sights are a bit more enjoyable that way. Oh! Uh, so this, this isn't your first time here? No, it's more like, uh, third? Had a couple of odd jobs. With Sullivan? <clears throat> well, yeah. <laughs> okay. There's no way up under that bridge. Well, there's that exposed beam underneath. Oh, you think you can rope it? Do I think I can rope it? <laughs> Watch this. I'm watching. I, uh... I missed. <laughs> uh, see, it's, uh, it's ah, see? Yeah, it's not bad. For a second attempt. Here we go. You see that? Oh, like a pro. It's your turn. So where to next? <clears throat> okay, here we go. <laughs> First try. All right, no one likes a show off. Okay, come on, Nathan. It looks like you can uh, climb down and make your way over. Right behind you. Respira attraverso un tubo e forse non potrà più camminare. Ah, bene lì sta. Ehi, hai scommesso sulla partita? Inghilterra vincente. Inghilterra? Traditore. Ehi, non confondere l'orgoglio nazionale con la realtà. Ok, we're good. Jesus, did you see him? 
That Renna thug was packing some serious heat. Should've brought guns. Sam, we're gonna pull this off so smoothly, we won't need them. I hope you're right. the little things that you miss the most. Like what? The smell of fresh citrus. <laughs> uh, riding the motorcycle. It's little things, but they add up. I nearly there. <clears throat> that should hold. There's a ledge down there. You think you can swing to it? Okay. All right, come on down. <clears throat> These landings are a little more painful than I remember. <clears throat> yeah, tell me about it. So, uh, your other wonderful finds, uh, the ones I missed, you at least take any pictures? I wish. Elena filmed some of it, but the camera didn't make it. That's too bad. I have some drawings, though. When we get back, I can show you. You have drawings? What, are they up on the fridge or something? No, I, they're good drawings. I can't wait. See anything to climb here?
Ah, this looks promising. I think you mean precarious. <clears throat> Okay up there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Suck if you missed right now. Sure would. But I don't miss. million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Sully? Know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. Oh. <clears throat> you remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be goddamn. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, let's try keeping them alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah. Uh, about that. What? What about that? Come on. Let me show you something. Take a look. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. All right, well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. But there's got to be something. Well, if the guards see us <laughs> making for that cross... But they don't see us. Hmm? Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical. That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. And that'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. So there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. Mm. Antipasti? Mosse. Hi. How are you? Ciao. Would you focus? The waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Huh? That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the break room and kill the power. Me on the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. What? You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything, uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right, follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. You gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I chuck it up to go on vegan. Really? Hell no. I refuse to believe. 
You see, I thought I had a reasonable grasp of French, or at least a passable French accent. But then a few months back, I'm with my girlfriend by the Pompidou Center. I've just sold them those pieces we, uh, yeah, obtained last year, you know, those hanging, old thing, I don't know, abstract art shit. Anyway, we walk out past that giant ice pack. What is that thing, anyway, right? And we see this crepe vendor outside with his car. So I go over there. And I want to impress her, so I order a crepe with sugar, you know, une crepe avec sucre. <gasps> I know, yeah, wait a tick. And the crepe man nods. Then my girlfriend orders. She gets her crepe first, she walks off, and when she's out of earshot, the crepe man leans over and says, in perfect English, your French accent is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. And then he points at my girlfriend and says, you should ask her to help you. Now, <laughs> I'm laughing it off, and I say to him, yeah, I don't want a business here, but no one said anything. And he's all, well, they want your business. Sellers just through there. Let's go. Well, this place is fancy. Here's the thing I was asking. Of course they play douchey European techno. Scusi? Un altro pezzo per la mia collezione. Here we are. Hey, let's do this. Excuse me. It's locked. Shit, it was open earlier. Now what? Can we pick it? No, it's electronic. We're gonna have to find another way in. You see that? Key card, back left pocket. Yep. I'm on it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You sure you wanna do that? There's a lot of eyes out here. I think I can handle a simple lift. All right. Oh, real smooth. I'm not even trying yet. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, 
<laughs> and he doubted me. Pleasure to watch professionals at work. again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. So. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. So out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Date? You catch on that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Dean Ross. Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Yeah, find where the waiters and kids. And lure one out of the kitchen, probably. And let's go find the kitchen. Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. Where do they host weddings? Oh, yeah, they're a full service site. Weddings, bar mitzvahs, black market auctions. But do they have a DJ? Crap. You see a waiter in there? Nah, just more heavily armed goons. What the hell is this? This game wasn't on the blueprint. Up there. 
this up. Guys, here we go. Let there be light. Got electrical in this joint. <sighs> Don't suppose you brought a? F yeah, that'll do. I guess it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along, unless you need to run. Oof. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Oh, good thing Sully's driving. Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. <laughs> that's something tells me that's not gonna fly. Dead end. Dead end. Hey, uh, should be worried that Victor is chatting up Nadine Ross. I mean, I've heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. I can talk his way out of anything. This way. Hey, look, the vents. That's our way out. Yeah, I got it. No need to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding a lighter. Holding a lighter. go. Right there. That's smaller than it looked, huh? <laughs> and a lot more dusty. Shh, shh, shh. Damn it. Waiters. And Baldy looks like my size, too. There's no shortage of waiters around here. Ah, shacco tu dei piatti. Sbrigati, però. Sai che questa gente non piace aspettare. Niente, non ci ammazzare. Prendi una bottiglia da tre euro e andiamo.
Okay. Pensi rubati ai ricettatori. Eh sì. Fresh air, here we come. Check this out. See that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? The what? Whatever. Listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Sam, up here. I'll boost you up. All right. <clears throat> All right. Good thing you kept in shape. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar, heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? That must be a bad spot for a signal. Hopefully he's doing okay. Bingo. Found the kitchen. And of course it's locked. Sam, look. Maybe we can use that and find a window. Drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of the ladder. Ma che sta facendo? Easy on the civilian, Sam. What? Right. So he waits to put a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. All right. Okay, let's get to the power room. Sam, you good? Yeah, these pants are just a little bit too tight. Yeah, well, that's the style these days. Really? Oh, we're in Rome. Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. All right, I'm gonna head back to the ballroom. Not at <laughs> Sam, you there? Sam? Sully? Great. Okay, just like riding a bike. Several hundred feet in the air.
Guys, if you can hear me, I'm just about at the power room. Should be there soon. Ish. believe you got away with that. Oh, we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> I recognize someone. No. I thought I did, but no. Hey, when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Mm. No, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh, like dead out? Oh no, more like retired. Mm. Last I heard, he settled down, got married. Mm. Well, then he might as well be dead, right? <laughs> Victor Sullivan! How the hell are you? Great. How long has it been? Ten years? Twelve? Fifteen. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. Oh, <laughs> that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. But what would be the point in that? And these days I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big score. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah, I think I want to bid against him. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. Hmm. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Ah. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. See? <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item, an inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel, you two kids have fun tonight. Just hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It? What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the bullshit, old man. I don't know how you scammed your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's Cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving in a goddamn Rafe. Body.
God, why did I pick the power room? abbastanza se dobbiamo fare anche gli elettricisti eh, oh sì, non puoi dire di no ecco fatto oh, speriamo di non dover cambiare altri fusibili del cazzo stasera direi che per stasera può bastare ma che diavolo pronto Here we go. Now, where the hell are the circuit breakers? Ah, oh, crap. Sam, Sully, you there? God damn it, kid. Where the hell have you been? I made it. Had a few close calls, but... Yeah, well, if you're gonna cut the power, now would be a good time. Right, well, I'm gonna need a minute before I can reach the panel. We don't have a minute. Rafe's about to walk out of here with your cross. Wait, what? Rafe? Rafe is here? Yes, Rafe is here. And a right now, he has the highest bid. Well, I'll bid him. With what? I don't have that kind of scratch. Sully, we're stealing him, remember? What if he calls my bluff? <sighs> he won't. We have 90,000. Do I hear any more bids? Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. Yeah. Well, I end up with the highest bid. We're all dead. Sully, I need you to buy me more time. Since we have no other bids. Trust me. Going once, going twice. Oh, Scrut. Then may we have 100,000 euros in the room. Thank you. Do we have any other bids? 
We now have 110,000 euros in the room. For a penny and for a pound. That bit brings Don't us worry. to 120. Don't worry. We'll be out of there in no time. I better be. Now the bid has reached 130,000. <sighs> nope. We are now at 140. Nothing. Damn it. Signore takes us all the way to 150,000 euros. It's got to be something. Come on. Hey, man, uh, it's time to sweat bullets here. Yeah, give me a sec. Signore, it makes 150,000. Yes. We are now at 180,000 euros in the room. <laughs> gotcha. Alright, boys, I'm at the switch. You ready? As I'll ever be, Victor. Just a sec. The gentleman's bid: two hundred thousand euros. Five hundred thousand. Let's get the show on the road here. Uh, thank you. We have five hundred thousand euros in the room. Does the gentleman wish to bid again? Had me worried there for a minute, Victor. Thought I might have to kill you. <laughs> okay, let's ruin this asshole's evening. Anyone else? We are going once. Going twice? Then I shall sell it for 500,000. And ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. The backup power will come on shortly. It's gone. <laughs> Move it! Get out of the way! Stop him! Hey! Stop that guy! Fermo! What are you doing? You're letting him get away! You speak Spanish. What? Sam, tell me you got the cross. Guy St. Dismas right here. You wanna say hi? Yeah, we really kicked the hornet's nest down here. Ballroom's locked down, security scrambling. Hey, Victor, where's our getaway? Come to the driveway out front. Just follow the spotlights. I'll bring the car around. 